Well, let's go over to Abuja. We also have another perspective on the same matter and more. Markwe. Yes, thank you, Chamberlain. I do have with me Representative Sam Onigwe, who is Chairman, House Committee on Climate Change. You're welcome to Sunrise, Editor. Thank you. Thank you, Maupe. Well, it would seem that there is a consensus that uh, the electoral process needs to change or, or some electoral reforms are necessary. Are you agreed with people on that? Um, to some extent, yes. Uh, the reason I said this is because if you... Take a look. If you sit down and study the changes that um, had actually occurred from when we became one nation from 1914, you would find that at every point where there was some sort of reform, uh, constitutional uh, amendment or change, you recorded some improvement. So from that uh, angle, I will say that... Um, Perhaps we get something added to what was done. But I do know that uh, some of the recommendations of uh, uh, Muhammad Owai's Electoral Reform Committee are yet to be implemented. Mm. So perhaps I listened to Senator Namani as he spoke, and uh, I get the impression that they'll probably just lift some of those recommendations and rejig them a little bit, and then maybe come up with what was considered before this panel was set up. Because you find out that when you want to enact laws, or amend laws, or set up committees, there must be something you want to solve. I want to first of all get, you know, in very concrete terms, your mm. perspective. Do you think that our electoral process needs reform? Uh, yes, I think it needs reform. But while saying that it needs reform, we must also admit that we've recorded some improvement. Okay. So it's just that's that's why I made the point that if you go way back, going back from 1914 uh, to 22, 46, all those. So what you're saying is that in spite of the progress that we're making, I'm I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm actually taking this yes. somewhere. Mm -hmm. In spite of the progress that we've made, yeah. Do you think that we can? It can definitely be better improved. Upon. We can improve on it. That's, if, that's, 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 that's my position. If that is the case, mm. it would seem that what people disagree over is how to improve on it. Some people think that uh, this new committee is not necessary. Uh, we've heard Senator Namani try to defend uh, you know, why the committee has been set up. But some people still believe that you know, not all of the wage ref uh, report has been implemented. And that if we can only say we've, we need another one when we have implemented thoroughly or when we've considered thoroughly uh, you know, what is meat out of that particular report. Are you in the same school of thought? Um, I'm not exactly in the same school of thought because I've made the point that there must be a reason why. Because I've already said that um, uh, so many of the recommendations of Senator Wise's uh, uh, committee are yet to be implemented. That's mm. the point I have emphasized. And for this to come on board, I guess there is something that the government wants to cure as a way of improving our electoral process. You don't think that it would simply have made sense to bring back the committee report and see oh, uh, no, 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 you know, what has not been implemented and then see how it is that can be pushed to the National Assembly as a bill? That's a good way of doing it and a good way also of saving cost but i think you will agree with me that every new administration apart from the president commissioning uh, completing and commissioning the work that was started by the former president uh, jonathan and continuing what is going on from Kano to lagos every new administration tends to come up with something new and we agree that that's not the way it should be there's need for continuity uh, because part of the worry that we have as people, as a nation, is that policy somersaults, lack of continuity, that's the bane of development. Whether you want to improve the electoral process, whether you're talking about economic policies or other things, there's need for some measure of continuity. If uh, the advisors of the president 
had actually looked through the OIC's report and said, okay, X, Y, Z have not been completely implemented. Let's bring it up and refer it to the National Assembly. I, I believe that um, that would have been a little more cost effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, maybe save us a lot of time because the wisest reports took almost a year, very long time, you know, to complete. And this job now, these people are given 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying that perhaps that is something that, well, we are not aware of that the government intends to highlight and perhaps ask for a solution. Through the committee. Through this committee. That's, that's, that's the way I look at it. But Senator Arisha, already, you know, and thank God you're also a member of the uh, National Assembly, he has uh, looked ahead as to what the process will eventually be. Absolutely. If any of the recommendations is, is going to become law. Yeah. Uh, he says that, you know, whenever it is they come up with their report, you know, best the white paper, you know, is brought out of it and then it maybe is made into a bill and eventually sent to the National Assembly, they will still have to cross the hurdle of the National Assembly. And, and that's where a lot of things, you know, usually have to go through the political wheel to see them through. Uh, how optimistic are you that when this, uh, you know, committee eventually comes up with recommendations, mm -hmm. it will do well in the National Assembly? Um, one thing is clear, the Eighth National Assembly has demonstrated beyond doubt that it's fully uh, supportive of the executive arm of government and by extension, uh, whatever is needed to do to ensure that we improve things in the country. So if good recommendations that are implementable are brought to the National Assembly, they will do like they did before, ensure that they are incorporated or they are amended, um, incorporated into the Electoral Act and the past uh, for us to move forward. The reason I seem to have some sort of hope um, in what uh, Senator Namani's committee uh, is expected to do is because I know that each time a committee is set up, you have a lot of expectations. At the end of the day, sometimes you have some disappointments. But I have taken time to look through, as I mentioned at the beginning of our conversation. Uh, I've taken time to look through the changes that occurred over time, particularly beginning from 1914, 22, 46, 54, you know, um, 51, 57, 58, up to uh, 1959, when these changes eventually led to uh, the general elections. So in each case, there was an improvement. For instance, after the Richardson Constitution uh, that brought in the regions, the regions still didn't have enough powers to go to get their revenues, to make laws to cover all the regions. There were some restrictions. But from 1951, a lot of these things were liberalized, and the regions now were able to raise their own revenues, create the marketing boards, you know, and things like that. And it was even from such little improvement, which I regard as a profound one, actually, that a region like the Eastern region was able to say, okay, we are now able to earn revenue, which had nothing to do with oil, from palm canal, palm produce, but we can manage these resources. From there, they were able to plan into the future, to say we can now set up a university and pass a law in 1955 to set up the University of Nigeria and Soccer. So each amendment sometimes brings in something new. So I do not want to maybe preempt uh, what uh, this committee uh, would come up with. Yeah, well, much as you do not want to preempt, I'm sure there are definitely changes that you'll be looking forward to seeing, mm -hmm. considering the fact that you're a politician, you've gone through the electoral process, yeah. and you know it's imperfect. Uh, what are some of the things that you always say, what are some of the areas you'll be, you be highlighting for them to pay particular attention to? Uh, one is for us to have fair, credible, and transparent elections. It's like, it's, like, it's like a general thing, yeah, that's, yes. I'm trying to break it down. To see a situation where elections are held and concluded and people do not have to go through the trouble that some of us go through 
each time an election is won. I'm talking about, for instance, I'm also going to cite an instance here how the WISE uh, panel uh, helped us. Before 2010, or before the ele uh, amendment of the Electoral Act, electoral, uh, election tribunal cases used to stay almost forever in the courts. But no. from the amendment of we'll the Electoral Act in 2010, uh, we are now able to I'm, yeah. I'm going to ask you to okay. you know, hold on a bit. Okay. We'll ex expatiate right, more right, on okay. your thoughts when we return from this break. Okay. Do join us again. Thank you.